lovely. Oh, I think we're there. Let's hope you don't have any techie gremlins like we had last time, hey? A um, little bit late, sorry. Facebook kept logging us out, so we had to log back in and have to set up two steps, authenticate, well, whatever it was. Anyway, um, hello, I hope the sun is shining where you are today. It's, we've got new shelves, so I've got to peer through the gap now just to see what the weather's doing. But it is really lovely here today. Um, morning, Julia. Morning, Karen. How are you? Um, we've decided today that we're going with happy fabrics because the sun is shining and today is a good day. So we've got quite a few things to kind of let you know about. Um, but I wanted to kind of first of all say thank you to all of our testers who've made up the Gertrude, which actually... Here we go, I'm going to move it close <laughs> to me so you don't have to move too far away. Um, yeah, that have made up our, our Gertrude jacket, which they look amazing. Some people, people have chosen some fantastic fabrics to make up their Gertrude jackets. They really have. And they look absolutely stunning. So thank you so much to all of our Gertrude testers, which is brilliant. Um, morning, Linda. It's a bit warm here today. It is, actually. I'm quite glad I'm downstairs today because upstairs in the offices, it's getting a little bit warm. Yes, Sharon has made Olivia open the windows now. So we've actually got a little bit of air coming through. Um, so, oh, morning Debbie. Morning from sunny Lincolnshire. Vanessa, that sounds a bit faint and your laptop is up top last. Oh, I don't know. Anyone else got any problems with the sound today? Let us know and we'll have a quick look at it. Um, oh, brilliant. There we go. Sharon's popped up the free PMP code today. So that's cool. We will kind of get started. So uh, first big thing, in case you haven't noticed, all of the book patterns now are available to order as PDF printouts. So if you don't want to kind of trace off 10 million kind of spaghetti lines that are on the paper, um, you can order the patterns from us directly only if you've bought a book because we can't verify, we can't obviously print out patterns for people willy-nilly unless they've bought the book from us. That way we can verify that it's a proper sound kosher purchase. Um, we have still got a few books available and we're waiting for more to come in. So as soon as they arrive, we will let you know. Um, but if you're waiting to kind of get started with the patterns and the projects, then you can print away or order and we'll print for you and get them sent out for you, which is really cool. Um, so I'm really pleased that we've got that sorted. There we go, oh look, there we go, she's put up a mark this morning. We've got a link up for the book there. Um, Linda says, sound a bit distant today. I have the full on, and then just hear us. Um, let me know if anyone else is struggling to hear us. Gretchen, hello. I hope you're okay over there from New York. It looks awful what's happening over there, doesn't it, with all the subways and everything. I hope you guys are all okay um, and you don't know whether we've been and stuck with those problems. Um, oh, Janet says, oh no. Oh, brilliant. Okay, that's good. Watching from your bed as you PR, PCR tested, confirmed COVID positive. Oh, Janet, I hope you're feeling better soon and I hope it's not going to hit you too hard. Um, Rosa, good morning. We have happy, happy colours today. So we're doing happy fabrics because it's a happy day. The sun is shining and it's a good day. So, uh, brilliant. So sound is fine now. So that's cool. Marvellous. Marvellous. Um, you can still order your Gertrude pattern and we will get those out as soon as we possibly can to you. Um, oh, Sean says, kids are finally back at school, so I have my sewing time back. Yes, I think there are thousands of people across the country that are just going, yes, we've got the kids off to school at last, even though they have to have things stuck up their nose every day, but that's fine. Um, oh, Gretchen, yes, you're okay. It was not good at all, but not near you. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, Linda says, don't know what you did, but you suddenly got louder. 
that's okay. Good, good, good. That's fine. Oh, lovely. Everyone can hear us perfectly this morning. So that's brilliant. Oh, Gretchen, I'm glad you're okay. That's brilliant. So fabrics this morning. Um, we've just pull, pulled out the happy ones that we like. So uh, it might be a little bit random today, but um, these are my first two happy fabrics. I love these. They are a little bit kind of citrusy, but I just adore them. They are, is, they're both Jersey, art gallery fabrics, so would be perfect for a Cordelia dress, which is brilliant. And you can make Cordelia with three different sleeve shapes as well, which is wonderful. Um, she's per perfect for this time of year because you can layer her if it gets a little bit chillier. She's quite nice over, just with leggings underneath actually, but also if you want to bare your shoulders and get a little bit of a tan while the sun is here, she does come as a sleeveless version as well. And I love these. As I said, they're art gallery fabrics, so they are super quality. They wash beautifully. I love this one. It's a proper tomato red with lovely little yellow and white flowers on. And I think this is absolutely beautiful. I love this. I think it would just you could actually, now you could make a Kate dress in this and just pleat out the dart and it would work just as nicely. In fact, we might be thinking of doing some Kate variations very soon. But I love this. I think this is just so pretty. Daisy Button Buds. There we go. I can't remember the names of them. Sharon knows. But I love that look. Just as a whole dress. Would that, that would just be so cool, wouldn't it? I love this. I haven't worn them much this year, but I do have a pair of lovely yellow toast, um, no, not toast, saltwater sandals. I bought them from toast. And I think that's gorgeous. I love this. It's such a pretty, happy, sunny kind of fabric, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. And then, if I pop that one there, we've got this one. This is another yellow, see? It's my favorite, I love yellow. Now, I know they don't suit everybody, but I absolutely love them. This is another kind of brilliant, happy, sunshine, last of the summer kind of fabric, isn't it? I think this is gorgeous. It's got little kind of seed heads, little tiny flowers in there. And I think it's beautiful. What's it called? If it's got a, has it got a sticker on the end? Oh, it has, look at that. Lacy Star Cosmos, yes. It does look a bit like Cosmos, actually. But again, I think that's beautiful. Again, just a really simple, just a, a really lovely summer dress. I think this would just be perfect in. Again, a Cordelia would work beautifully with this. You could even knock out a T-shirt that's in the book. So this would be really lovely. A nice little T-shirt that's in the book. You can get the PDF pattern from us now, which is brilliant. Um, and I think this would work really nicely. Again, you can, although the book, the pattern in the book has got long sleeves, but you can just chop the sleeves off wherever you like, actually, and that would just make it really easy. So I think those two are just lovely, lovely, lovely fabrics. Now, I'm going to move those down here. Actually, I'm going to, do you know what? I'm going to shove them behind me while I can still move. There we go, and get them out of the way, because then I want to show you my, no my next happy fabric. Now, I love this. <sighs> this reminds me of my kind of fashion days when I used to work in the industry. I don't know why, but it's just really lovely, quirky pattern. This is called Street Art, and it's a cotton lawn, but it's a really lovely soft, fine cotton lawn. And I love it. It's just got such a funky kind of design on it, which I think is beautiful. I would make, what would I make? I would actually probably make an Eleanor out of this and just wear it with a pair of jeans, really nice dark indigo jeans and, um, and my white trainers because I just think that's lovely. And it goes with my ring. Look, it's got the same yellow in it as my ring, which I think is just my favorite. Oh yes, you, uh, now Jules, you got some of this, didn't you? Jules is one of our diploma ladies. And uh, you're scared to cut into it. <laughs> just think, take a deep breath, get everything ready. 
a go for it and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I love this fabric. It's such a beautiful quality as well. Um, let's just see if I, I don't want to miss any comments. That's cool. This is lovely. I mean, it really is a beautiful quality. It's, it's almost, it almost feels like um, a Liberty Tana lawn. It's got that kind of feel to it. It's so soft, which I think is beautiful. I actually really like it with this, which is why I've put the two of those together. And again, this is another one of my happy fabrics. Um, this fabric, I really, really want to make my daughter something out of this because this, these are absolutely her colours. And I think this is just beautiful. I might just um, surprise her with something. Luckily, she never watches me here, so she won't know, which is fine. Uh, oh, Debbie, you too. Debbie, have you bought some of this? I can't remember whether you've already got some, but I think it's, again, it would look amazing. It really would. Um, I love this. I think this would just be so pretty in um, Angelica, which is our, um, oh, they call it buffet dress. Honestly, whoever came up with that name needs shooting, quite frankly. Um, it's one of the lovely tiered, layered dresses that we've got, which is the Angelica. And I think this would make up beautifully. It's just got a tiny, very soft little pink in there. But I think that emerald green and the pink together just look stunning. They really do. Actually, another thing that would work with this would be the iris top with the flounce that goes through the princess seam. That would work really nicely as well, actually. Um, I would love the cami and shorts in that. Now, who's that? Is that Olivia or is that Sharon? Which of you? Which of you? The cami and shorts, actually, which funnily enough, are more patterns from the book that you can now get as a printed out PDF. So that's a result too. Actually, that would look very cute. It'd be quite a nice little um, sleep set, wouldn't it? Which would be really pretty. Um, I love it, I really do. Oh, Debbie says, been waiting for inspiration. Debbie, you should be full of that after this weekend. Come on, that was brilliant. That was really lovely. Um, it's the famous Sharon. <laughs> the infamous Sharon, should we say, really. Infamy, infamy. They've all got it infamy. What was that? That was Carry On. Is it Caesar? Carry On Caesar, was it? I can't remember now. Show me age now. Um, I'm going to pop this one away because it kind of slightly detracts from the other ones. But again, this is a happy fabric. It's a nice, bright... I love the colour. It's just clean and gorgeous and I really like it. So that's one of my happy fabrics. Now, this, these two actually I've put together because I think the combination makes me happy. Um, this is a new, it's another art gallery and it's another lovely soft knit. But I think that's a really gorgeous pattern in there. It's more kind of slightly soft muted colours. This is called... Jardin Delicate. There we go. With a slight French accent, but not a very good one. Um, let me tuck my wires out of the way. There we go. Now, I think that works beautifully with the soft kind of sea green double gauze. Now, our beloved Sharon has made the Nell trousers from double gauze, which you've probably seen on social media. And it looks, she says, they absolutely feel amazing. They are proper secret pyjamas. And I think that would work really nicely. You could make up a pair of trousers in, in this. I think the colour would be fine for trousers. It's not too pale or wishy-washy or anything like that. I think it's got substance to it. And then pair that with a nice Regan or um, a snug t-shirt or even a flute vest um, from the mechanicals that would be a really nice combination actually really pretty just to kind of take you through the last kind of parts of summer and then you can wear them at home just being comfy can't you oh brilliant shine's popped up the link there for the nell trousers which i think are absolutely i mean i need to i really seriously need to make myself another pair um, because i love them so much um, I'm going to pop that to one side now. I, the colour is so lovely, isn't it? It's just a really beautiful. It's almost like that lovely kind of sea glass kind of colour, isn't it? 
you know when you find a bit of glass on the beach that's been worn kind of smooth and, and matte it's not shiny anymore I love that I think that's really cool right let's tuck that one away now I'm going to pull out now this is one of my favorite fabrics I have a lot of favorite fabrics but this is this has been a favorite for a long time so this is the Chartreuse linen, which is the same fabric that we've got the Lavinia made up in. But actually that goes really nicely with um, the Delicate Jardin, or Jardin Delicate, whichever way you want to pronounce it. Um, I think they those go really nice. It just picks out that lovely yellow little flower going through there, which is really cool. So again, you could have a really beautiful Desdemona skirt in the yellow linen and just paired with a nice little t-shirt actually. Um, Sue, one of our diploma ladies, was wearing a similar combination over the weekend actually and she looked really nice. I think she had darker colours on but the little t-shirt, she was wearing it with um, a Desdemona skirt and it looked bang on, it really did, it was so cool. I love seeing what other people do with our patterns and the fabrics that you make them up in I think is just it's genius it really is it's so lovely um i'm going to move this one out the way that makes me happy that makes me happy i had <laughs> talking of happy years ago my son played with action men and it just it just it, this makes me laugh and it's a happy it's a happy memory and his favorite song at the time was you make me um you are my sunshine and uh, stuff like that. But he was playing with his action man. He was singing and they were fighting at the same time. So he was like, but you are my sunshine, like this. But it was quite a, that's a happy memory, which I really love. And now he's back at uni. Oops. I have to make the most of those because I'm not going to see him till Christmas now, unless I get down there, which hopefully I will. Um, anyone else dropping kids off? We were supposed to be dropping a child off, moving a child today. But luckily now that's happening on Sunday, so that's a bit of a relief. It is time, they're all kind of, everything's changing. Don't you feel, find, September feels more like January? Because it's that big kind of change, isn't it, really? Um, you know, new pencil case, lots of new stationery, which is really cool. Getting the kids packed off, new school uniform. Luckily I don't have to do any school shoe shopping anymore, which is a complete nightmare. And I, I feel your pain when people have to go and do that. Um, if you, <laughs> all Kate says, your little man is his first ever day at school today. All very exciting. Oh, bless. I was in floods, absolute floods of tears when my son started. Well, both of them, actually. Their first days at school, I was just like a, very brave. Got them off and that was it. And me and my friend, we went and had a coffee and a cake to kind of console ourselves afterwards. <laughs> So I do feel for anybody else in a similar situation. Now, more favourite fabrics. This is another one of my favourites. This is a beautiful one. It's a viscose crepe. But again, I love it with that yellow. I just really want to make a proper retro Hawaiian style shirt out of this. I think it would just look amazing. So the closest one we've got is, is Eleanor. And I think an Eleanor in this would look fabulous. You could alternatively, actually, which would look really cool, um, there we go, I'm just missing comments, sorry. Um, yes, September is the real new year. Sharon says, I'm so pleased you're here today. Are you, I hope, um, are you referring to me? <laughs> 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 right because yeah Sharon was yeah you see if we were going to be moving Orla then Sharon would have been in front of the camera I think she was a little bit shocked at the finding out about that but there we, I did pre-warn her but there we go um so I'm trying to think about what she's referencing but I think that's what it is anyway um hula now we've got the shacket which I haven't worn today because it was going to be a little bit warm from the book, which again, you can get as a PDF pattern and we can print it out for you now, which is really cool. But that made up in this would be very cool. Actually, even better, you could do the shirt dress from the book in this and that would look absolutely fabulous. That would be amazing. In fact, I'm very tempted by that myself, actually, which would be really cool. Um, but I love this, a hula viscose crepe. Yeah, and I love it. The print is just so cool, isn't it? I love this. 
I love this. Would you be brave enough to wear this? I would. I think they'd be incredible. Are there some things that you kind of draw the line at? Leopard print, maybe? I don't know. Sharon had a dream about our snow leopard. Apparently, she made a jacket, she made a Gertrude in it, and we all wanted it, which I thought was really funny, but we couldn't have it, apparently. So I said, clearly, it's been playing on your mind and you need it. So um, there we go. I'm going to pop that one there as well. And I'm going to, now I'm going to leave that here because sometimes plain fabrics work together. And I really like the combination of white, grey and, oh, knickers, I've just unplugged my laptop. So I might have to go and reach, otherwise I'm not going to last. There we go. We have the technology as long as we're plugged in, eh? There we go. So Ian Paris. Hello, Ian. How are you? Um, naturally gifted presenter. <laughs> you mean I just talk a load of waffle? That's what I do. Um, what was I doing? Plain colours. Look, I love those together. Navy, white and grey. Now we did our Eleanor and Nell samples in the, not navy, white and grey, it's na white, storm grey and chartreuse yellow. Let's get it right, eh? Um, we did our samples in those two and I think they work so nicely. Um, and the photos that we took of Helen looked fantastic, they really did. Well, no, it was Claire, wasn't it? Claire put those on. They worked really nicely with hers too, didn't they? I know that we put Helen in this when we took Gertrude. <laughs> Brain's not functioning this morning. I blame the age, really. Um, but I think what's really nice is just having, sometimes you don't need the prints. You don't need all that fussiness. You can just go with something that's really plain and simple and it just kind of works, which is lovely. So that's why I've picked out those three. But I'm going to put those two back now because they are a combination that make me happy happy fabrics my best friend lives in her ian's old next door neighbor lives in her little happy bubble and nothing gets in there including the news which is quite interesting so i think happy places are good places to be especially now do i need a coffee jules yeah i probably do actually i've only had one this morning. I know I'm slipping, aren't I? Right, let's pop those there. Now, I've put, left the white here because this is a little colour story that makes me happy. And I think this is lovely. So it's a little bit kind of, kind of pastely. Oh, actually, that rib goes really nicely with the grey linen there. So if you were going to do a Julia top, this is a really nice combination, actually. In fact, it's one that I'm thinking about myself. I had one and then, unfortunately, cleaned the bathroom wearing it and it's got bleach all over it now, which is a real shame. But there we go. So, let's just make sure. Oh, no, there we go. Brilliant Sharon's popping up all the links. Now, I love these fabrics. Now, we haven't shown you this for a while, but rainbows, rainbows are happy, aren't they? I think that's a beautiful fabric. And I know somebody put a t-shirt, they made the snug t-shirt to go under a black corduroy perdita, and it looked amazing. It really did, it was really cool. Um, I love it with the pink and the arctic linen, arctic dusk linen that we've got. And I think that works really nicely. So if you're kind of working towards the end of the summer, good combination here is a perdita pinafore with a nice little smiley happy rainbow t-shirt underneath it. I think that would work really nicely. I love that combination. You could even, now I know, who, who, where have I seen it? I think it was on Instagram. Someone's made the t-shirt from the book, which is what I'm wearing today. Um, oh, Rosie, love the Arctic dusk. <gasps> Rosie, this could be one of your colours, actually, couldn't it? This would look amazing in your sketchbooks, too. Um, somebody made, I don't know, we've got loads of background noises going on today. Who knows what's going on? It's all next door. Lots of fun and games. This is what comes from having neighbours. 
really what we need to be is in splendid isolation in a, a nice little hut in the middle of a field somewhere, which would be totally fine by me. Um, rainbows are sad. Oh, Linda, when your dog dies, it goes over the rainbow bridge to run free. Oh, Linda, that's very sad. But I'm sure he's very happy where he is, chasing rabbits and squirrels and goodness knows what dogs do, which I think which is what ours did when they were alive. Um, that's sad. But rainbows are, rainbows are happy. They're smiles, aren't they? Upside down smiles, that's all, really. Um, another one that I really like, actually, is the chalk pink. Now, I've put white, that white rib here because that would go really nicely with the rainbow jersey again. This is art gallery, so it, you know it's going to be a super duper quality fabric. It's just going to wash well and make up beautifully. Don't forget, you will need a ballpoint needle if you're working with jersey, uh, or you can just whiz it straight up on the overlocker and that makes it really easy as well, actually. So that's cool, got those two there. Um, the chalky pink linen, again, that goes really nicely with the rainbow fabric, but it also goes perfectly with the Calico Days. I really want a puppy and I want to call it Calico. I keep telling Charlie this, but he's not having any of it. But never mind, I'm working on him. Um, this is another beautiful fabric. Again, it's art gallery. All of our printed jerseys are art gallery because they are just such a super quality. This would look amazing, again, as a lovely t-shirt with a darker linen skirt. I think that would work really nicely. Um, let's move that back a bit so we can see what we're doing. There we are. That's better. Um, again, it would work with, um, you could even make the snout yoga pants actually out of this. And they would just be a really lovely, slouchy, kind of comfy thing to wear. Um, especially when you get home, because if, if people are going back to work, you're going to want to get out of your workwear as soon as you get home, aren't you? And put your comfies on again. So I think this would be lovely with a nice white, or you could put a nice white linen Julia top with that. And that would just look so cool, wouldn't it? Just like, you know, sipping a gin and tonic in the garden in the evening after work. That'd be like heaven, wouldn't it? Which is what I fully intend on doing this evening. After I've been to the gym. There we go. Cool. So I'm going to leave. No, nope, I'm going to put these away, actually. I'm going to move them behind me because I'm a bit short of space at the front there. So let's pop that one there. And I can move this one. I like it. But don't you like the colours again? We've got the chalky pink, Arctic dusk and the white linens all together. Oh, they make me happy too. Again, it's sometimes just about the plain colours, not always about the print. So that would work. Let me see if I can tuck that under there. There we go. And we can move these ones out of the way. Now, well, actually, that kind of goes. We've got some slightly brighter ones now. We've been doing a little bit of pastel fabrics, but... Let's move these down a bit. Oh, I like actually, oh, look at that pink and grey. They're nice together as well, aren't they? Ooh. Too many fabrics and too many ideas. This is the problem. Now, I hope that um, you've had a look at the email that we sent out last week about the survey. I think it went out Sunday evening. Um, Let's move those down there. Um, it would be brilliant if you could just take a couple of minutes to fill it out for us. Um, we've got a big planning session next week. So um, that's actually something that I need to let you know about is we won't be having a textile Tuesday. We're going to have it on a Wednesday. So we'll have a, a nearly textile Tuesday because we're going to be out of the studio for two days next week, Monday and Tuesday, um, because we've got a big kind of planning meeting. So off the back of what you're filling out in the surveys 
and what people have been emailing us. We're going to be doing, making some changes if we need to make changes and improvements if we need to make improvements. Um, but it's going to give us a really good idea of what and how we can best serve you. So that's what we're planning on doing next week. So we won't be here on Tuesday, but we will be here on Wednesday instead. So you'll still get a fabric fix if that's okay. So that's good, but we won't be here Tuesday. It'll be Wednesday. So stick it in your diaries if you want to come and join us live. Otherwise you'll be able to catch up again on YouTube as well. Let's push this lot forward. So we've got, oops, going off at an angle. That's not ideal. There we are. So a few more fabrics to make us feel happy today because it's a beautiful sunshiny day. Um, no, Christy, you should be able to get in. You should be able to get in. Um, we've unchecked a box now. So if anybody tried to do the survey, it should be working. So do go back in and give it another go because it should all be working fine. Um, so that's okay. More colours, more colours that make you happy. I like particular colour combinations. I don't know if you're kind of drawn to those as well. I do like the kind of soft green and a raspberry, a mint and raspberry kind of thing. I think those are really lovely. And again, this is an art gallery jersey. And this one is called, let's see if I can get there before Sharon. It's called, oh, Cherished Gatherings in Glint. That's quite interesting, isn't it? But I love that. Again, I've put that with the Plum Raimi, which is um, a linen mix fabric. And I think those two work beautifully together. I really like those. Again, you could have something like a pinafore dress, like the Perdita, or even um, an Ursula dress would work really nicely in this fabric with a nice little t-shirt underneath because we're kind of although it's beautiful and warm out there today it's not going to be long before we're going to have to start layering stuff so just putting any of our kind of pinafore dresses well for any of our dresses really I quite often wear a t-shirt underneath um, Helena or Amelia or Kate actually which is a brilliant one for layering too um, so anything like that, you can just make a little t-shirt that picks out any of the colours or goes with it. And again, you've got that kind of a whole outfit that's going to take you right the way through into the cooler weather as well, which is brilliant. And I love that combination. I think that's a really pretty fabric. Um, all good. You're in. Fantastic, Christy. Well done. That's brilliant. So I'm going to pop that one. Oh, running out of space. Shove that in there. Now, again... This, I think, goes really prettily with the Raimi. Now, this is um, a viscose and it has tiny bunnies on it, which makes me really happy. But it's got little pink bunnies and little blue bunnies on there as well, which is really cool. Um, I made a dress, or rather my daughter and I made her a dress last year in lock lockdown 1.0 and um, she made it and it looks absolutely fabulous on her and also Marie-Jeanne who comes and does some teaching for us she made an amazing little play suit um, which is really cool you might have seen it on our social media and it just looks adorable it really does out of this but it's the perfect fabric for that kind of pattern actually it's soft and light and again this would make up beautifully in the camisole and shorts from the book because you can get the PDF pattern now printed and we can do that for you. So you can try that out too. Um, it's called Mopsy Fun, Mopsy Fun in Spearmint. And I think it's a really cute little fabric actually. Again, if you wanted to do a Regan or something like that, it does go really nicely with a little bit of the white rib. So that would work too, actually, which I think is a good combination. So there's lots of different things you can do with this particular fabric. I think it's lovely, I really do. Let's pop that over there. Now the Raimi, again, goes with loads of different things. We've got some beautiful fabrics. The Spanish Charm, I think, has charmed its way through the summer. And I think that's a really pretty fabric too. Um, lots of people have been interested in this. And again, it works for lots of different patterns. Lavinia, it would be perfect for, because it's soft and light enough to be able to shear, 
to get that elasticated back panel. That would be a really nice one to do. Um, but equally, you could make up a really nice um, cilia top and just wear it over a pair of um, Nell trousers, which would be really nice. Celia is lovely. You don't have to have the frills with her. You could just leave those off if you wanted to, so it's not quite so fussy. Um, and that would just give you a lovely kind of almost tunicky to shaped top, which is brilliant. But I think the two of those together work really nicely as well, actually, which is lovely. So again, another viscose fabric. So natural, even though it's man-made, it's still kind of like a natural fiber, almost. Um, now, again, another of our art galleries, Fusions, this is called. And again, I love this. In fact, I think Sue has a T-shirt in this or has used it. Look at that. The colours in there are just beautiful, aren't they? they and it also goes with the mallard teal linen that we've got that kind of lovely beautiful teal in fact oh look at those that's a combination a color combination that makes me happy i really love that i think that's beautiful really nice combination and again it's such a lovely fabric it's so soft and it washes well it makes up well i always think to myself sometimes if the fabric is a little bit pricey you can kind of justify it by the amount of times you would wear it. And if you absolutely love it and you know that you're gonna wear it often, it's worth it because it is so much nicer working with quality fabrics. It's totally, totally fine. Um, Maurice says, so much temptation. I know, yes, Rosie said, Sue has a t-shirt in it and it's lovely. It does, it looks amazing, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I think it's absolutely fine to work with cheaper fabrics sometimes if you just want to kind of nail a pattern down. But when you're coming to make something for yourself, really, you know, you want to kind of treat yourself, don't you? If you're spending all of that time, care and attention in making something, you want to do it with a nice fabric that you know you're going to want to wear, which I think is really important. So I love that combination. I really do. This is beautiful. It has that lovely, gorgeous, proper magenta and that lovely turquoise in it which is really nice. We've also got, we haven't put it out actually, but we've got a kind of a, a soft sage green Raimi, which would just pick out that lovely, almost chartreuse kind of color in there as well, which is really nice. So let's pop that over there. Now I'm gonna keep that teal out, but I'm gonna get rid of the Raimi and put that over the back there. Now, again, this is another fabric that makes me happy. This is the other colorway, and I think this is just beautiful. I really do, I love this. But I actually really like it with the green. So I think it works really nicely with teal as well, actually. That's so cool. I would do a pair of aerial cargo pants in the teal um, mallard linen, and I'd make a regan with some red rib out of this beautiful fabric. Cloud flower, yeah. I think the two of those, red and green are opposite colors on the color spectrum. So they could do, they kind of clash, but they kind of go at the same time. It's almost a bit, little bit kind of pleasure pain kind of thing going on. But I think it works really nicely. I think this is such a beautiful fabric, I really do. It's gorgeous. And it, again, it would make up into Lavinia, or Angelica would be really nice too. Um, even the shirt dress, again, a really soft kind of floaty kind of shirt dress from the book would be amazing. Or um, something slightly more flared, which would be the um, Cressida dress, which if you're a sewing studio member, you've got access to the course for that one as well, which is really good. Oh, I should say, the course for Gertrude is up in the sewing studio as well, so you can follow along to making up your own lovely jacket. So I think, oh, what colour would you put over that? Oh, I don't know. I actually think a really nice dark indigo would look really nice with that too, wouldn't it? Love it. Love it. Um, I'm going to keep the red teal, actually, or red and teal, because again, I think they go really nicely with um, 
what's it called? Bouquet Muse. I kind of knew that one. I did kind of know that one. And again, you've got a little bit of red in there, so you could pick out the red rib for that, which would look really nice, actually. I think that's a really nice combination. Alternatively, we have got the apricot. So we have a plain jersey. Now, they actually kind of come from the same kind of range. So those work really nicely together. She says, trying to work out which, one to, which way to hold it. Actually, if I hold that one there and that one there, there we go. So again, that's a really nice combination. I like that, that makes me smile. I think that's a beautiful combination of colors there and fabric. So again, you could make up, have a pair of leggings and a top or leggings and a cardigan or something like that. The quince and the robin leggings would work really nicely with that, which I think would be really cool. So again, I'm gonna pop those to the back. Oops. And again, I'm gonna keep the mallard out because I think it goes with these ones now. It's all about little color stories, isn't it? And this is what kind of makes me smile putting all the colours together I think is a really lovely thing to do. Now again I've got Lobelia. Now we've only got a little bit of this left, we have got another one I think, um, but again that maybe slightly more autumnal but I think you can still get away with it actually. I think those are beautiful, those colours together. Again this is a viscose so it has that lovely kind of drape and wobble to it, which would be beautiful. So this would be amazing for um, an Imogen shirt, Imogen top, which has got the little kind of placket opening. So that with a pair of aerial cargo pants, which are the ones I am wearing today. And they are so lovely and comfy, I have to say. They're really cool. Um, we've also got, now this is a linen viscose. And again, the colours I think are lovely. They're just soft. It's a very kind of um, almost like a slightly faded rust colour, which I think is beautiful. And again, that goes really nicely with um, with the mallard. If you're a kind of a, an orange and green person, oh, what was that film? Do you remember that was the um, Emma Thompson, the tall guy with Jeff Goldblum? Her favourite colours were orange and green. And her whole house was like orange and green. Do you remember? That was really funny. Um, I think that's a really nice combination. And this one I think is lovely as well, actually. This is a little bit of a lighter weight viscose. What's it called? Painted flower. There we are. And again, I think that's lovely. It has got navy in it, so you could put that with it too. But I just think it works really nicely with the mallard and the kind of rust colour. Oop. Uh, Linda, no, Raimi doesn't crease as much as linen does. Um, but our linen doesn't crease that much anyway, really, because it's already laundered. So, I mean, I'm wearing this today. Believe it or not, I didn't actually iron this. Don't tell. But I yeah, didn't have time this morning. Um, but I kind of quite like the, the crumpled look than the corporate look these days. Um, oops. Oh, Leanne, good morning. Haven't joined you for FB for a while. And the pattern info that have been added. Great work, team. Thank you. Good. That's lovely. Um, just thinking if there's anything else there. I don't want to miss anything. That's cool. Um, morning, Denise. How are you? Thanks for joining us this morning. I do, yeah, I do. Sharon's popped up the um, the link there for the painted flower. And actually, I think it's a really, it, it looks really pretty just as on, on that little kind of thumbnail there. Um, but I think as a big piece, you get a much better idea of what it's going to look like. I love this. I think it's really cool. Um, lots of different colours in there. Lots of things you could use with it. It would actually work as a Lavinia, I think, too. Um, but I kind of had... When we buy fabrics in, I usually have a kind of a, a pattern in mind for how they would, what kind of things they would work with. And with this, it was definitely an Imogen top, which Sharon has popped up the link there. Um, oh, Vanessa, would it be possible to see the pink stretch cord if you have it to hand? <laughs> yes, I can go and get it. That's not a problem, don't worry. Let me, uh, where is it? There we go. 
We're going off piste now, Vanessa. We're going off piste here. Let me see if I can pull it out. There we go. There we go. There, pink needle cord for you. It has a teeny bit of stretch, but it's really comfy actually. It's a really nice one. There we go. Sue's gonna zoom in for you. That's cool. Little bit delayed, but there we are. So I hope that's given you what you needed to make a decision, hopefully. There we go. Right, I'm gonna move these out of the way. So the next little color combination that makes me happy is navy. Now, I love this, and this is actually Sue's favorite. So it's the bark cloth, and it has a beautiful kind of mid-century design. Um, yeah, oh, Vanessa's oh, beautiful. Thanks so much. We'll get back on piste, on the piste. Yes, we're back on back on track. Which is, I like a little diversion every now and then. It's quite good fun. Um, so, navies. Now, this is Sue's favourite. This is Sue's happy fabric. It's a bark cloth, which is a beautiful kind of fabric to work with. It's a medium kind of weight. It would make up beautifully in the Gertrude jacket. It is exactly right for that kind of pattern. Equally, it would work with, um, you could make a slightly heavier shacket from the, the, like the overshirt from the book that you can get now as a PDF printed pattern. Um, it would make up beautifully in any of the dresses. So Amelia, Helena, um, Kate would be really nice with it. Um, you could do it as a Cressida dress or the shirt dress from the book, that would be a really nice one as well, which you can get as a PDF pattern. Um, I, think it's, I think it's beautiful. Sharon can't stand it, but I think it's lovely. Well, Sue and I both think it's lovely, so we've outvoted her. Um, and again, it's got navy in it. It has that lovely kind of almost stone sort of color, but I think with a navy linen, which obviously you have to have in your life because who doesn't need navy linen? Um, I think that combination just works really nicely. I love it. Um, we did have a beautiful stone colour denim and I'm going to see if we can get a hold of that again actually because that would just work so nicely with that as a combination. I think it's lovely. So I'm going to pop that one over there. Now obviously everything I'm going to show you now goes with navy linen. That's just a, a foregone conclusion. So actually if you're looking at making a Julia top a nice little bit of striped viscose, a striped jersey ribbing would be perfect actually, just to finish off the neckband and the cuffs. I think that would be a really nice little addition there. I like that combination. That makes me happy. Um, this one is one of Sharon's happy fabrics. This is the linen slub jersey and it is beautiful it really is so this would be amazing for um, any of our kind of knit top patterns so you could make the snug t-shirt the flute vest the t-shirt from the book um, a julia top a peas blossom you could even make it up in the snout yoga pants as well um, or you could just do a really simple little t-shirt dress which i think would be amazing um, and we have done that before with the peas. So it's just the round neck version of the peas blossom and just lengthen it, which is really cool. But I love the texture. You can kind of see that um, as Sue's doing the close up. It has that lovely marl kind of texture going through it, which is lovely actually, works really nicely. So that I think looks beautiful. And again, see, it goes with navy linen, doesn't it? You can't go wrong there. Um, this one, we sold out of very quickly, so we've got it back in again. And this is the tie-dye double gauze. It's beautiful. It really is. Let me just undo the thingies. I'm just going to throw that on the floor just to annoy Sharon. Um, don't worry, I'll pick it up later. I will be good. Um, this is beautiful. Look at that. It's like So ladies, ladies who were on the diploma at the weekend, 
this is another kind of uh, some of the tie dye fabric it's absolutely beautiful it really is i love this i would just make a lavinia out of that straight out the packet just i think it would look amazing even an angelica i think that would work too that lovely kind of tiered or you could even just do um the sheared just do loads of shearing on a tube and turn it into a dress and i think that would just be heavenly especially if you are planning on going away at all anywhere near a beach which would be perfect um i'm not quite sure what the travel situation is at the moment who knows but september is usually a good time to go isn't it because all the kids are back at school um so this would be a perfect perfect kind of holiday dress to put on which i think is absolutely beautiful i love it so this is what you can do with tie-dye, ladies. I mean, it's amazing, isn't it? I think it's beautiful. So, and again, it goes with navy linen. So I'm gonna pop that over there. Now, again, this is one of Sharon's. I love this. It's beautiful. It's a red viscose. Please don't mention shearing. Jules, we can get it sorted for you. Don't worry. We'll have a look. We'll have a chat. Um, oh, Jane, hello. Making the top with this blue slub fabric at the moment. Just doing the neckline with the blue striped rib. Oh, nice. That's going to be a nice combination. Stick some pictures up so we can have a look because we really like that. Um, this is one of Sharon's. Now, I think this is beautiful. It has a lovely, almost cherry kind of red background to it, which I think is really pretty. Letterbox bouquet, it's called. I wasn't reading that off my screen, I promise. Um, but we put it with a little bit of white actually because I think that just lifts it so with a bit of white broderie anglais I think that's just so pretty as a combination it just lifts it and makes it a little bit fresher it has got different quite a few different colors in it actually it's got orange and purple and black and a little bit of pink so you could put all kinds of different things with this and I think that would work really nicely but I do love Broderie Anglais. I think, again, it's a really pretty fabric. This one is quite a holy one. So you probably would need to put some kind of a lining or a slip underneath it if you're going to wear it as a dress. But I think, again, it's just so pretty. It's really nice. Again, I would love this just as a really simple little top. I'm putting it with the woven star cross fabric I think this now this I love this this makes me happy this really does make me happy this would make up beautifully in a pair of nail trousers just with a really simple maybe even a celia top with it I think that would just look lovely again just to kind of you know take you through the end of the summer into the autumn just really nice easy to wear quick to make patterns that you can kind of put with everything Again, it, you know, if you're kind of thinking about going back to work as well, this would take you through to work as well because it's kind of smart enough. But then, you know, with a pair of nice trainers on, I think it would take you through the weekend as well, which is really cool. So there we go. I hope you've been inspired by our happy fabrics today. Um, brilliant. Sharon's popped all the links up there, which is brilliant. Um, Anything else that I need to remember to say? I can't remember now. PDFs are available now for the patterns in the book. So if you have got the book already and you've bought it from us, then all you need to do is to pop your order number from the original book order that you did with us into the comments. And then we can print out whatever patterns you want. You can order those through the PDF printing service, which is brilliant. Um, and we have got more books available. We've got a few left. We've got more coming. Exactly. Yes, that was my next thing on the list. We won't be having Textile Tuesday. We're going to have Warp and Weft Wednesday, she says, um, because we're not going to be here in the studio for two days next week. We've got, um, we're getting away from the studio so we can clear our heads and think about how best we can help you make clothes that you really want to wear. So please do fill in the survey. It should all be working and everything's absolutely fine now. Um, it is anonymous, so you can be honest. 
she says, girding her loins. I'm sure, I'm sure what we're doing is fine, but there are always areas for improvement and that's what we really want to focus on because we want to make sure that we're providing the services that you guys really want. So do take time to fill out the survey for us. Um, so just bear in mind that your orders over the weekend might be a little bit delayed because we're not going to be here in the studio. Um, but we will put that out in the email on Friday as well, just to let you know. OK. In the meantime, she says, peering through the crack in the bookshelves, it's still a beautiful day out there. There's still plenty of time to enjoy it. So I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week and we'll see you on Wednesday next week. Take care.